everyone and welcome to a little bit of a different style video today. I'm super excited about this one. I asked you guys what videos you'd like to see on my Instagram. So if you're not following me already, follow me there. Definitely where I'm most present as far as social media goes. But that's also where I get a lot of my questions for Q and A's and that's where I typically go to for requests from you guys. And a lot of people were requesting more fashion videos, more thrifting videos. And we've also received a lot of those requests on this channel. So today I'm super excited. I'm going to be doing a week of thrifted outfits because lately as it's been warming up and New York City is kind of coming back to life, I've been trying to put a little bit more effort into my outfits, mainly because I'm just so tired of wearing sweatpants. And I've been noticing that a lot of my outfits are made up of mainly thrifted pieces, which I think is kind of cool and exciting. And it seems like you guys really enjoy thrifting as well. So I thought that we do a fun outfits video today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a 20 something living and working in New York City. I run this channel with my sister, roommate, and best pal, Aline. And yeah, we have a lot of fun here. So if you want to subscribe, you should uh, definitely tap that button. There's a lot of fun content to come and we would love to have you. Anyway, with all that being said, let's just hop right into the video. I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been putting on my bod lately. Okay friends, this is our first outfit. I love this outfit. I've actually been wearing it a lot recently. I wore it on a outdoor date recently and I think it's super, super cute. I love the very like casual straight silhouette of just having this top loose and then the straight leg crop pants. I think it's very chic, but it's also, it legitimately feels like pajamas because it's so comfortable. But fun fact about these pants, they're originally from Zara and I bought them from Zara years ago and eventually they didn't fit me anymore and they were much too small. I think they were like an extra small size, but then I tracked them down on either Depop or Poshmark. I typically prefer Depop, but I found them um, a couple years ago in a bigger size and it was just such a serendipitous moment when I realized Depop and Poshmark are a great place to find pieces that may no longer fit you. And yeah, just a reminder that it is completely normal to be a larger size than you used to be when you were a literal child. This shirt is a button down, but it's a very stretchy, like cottony material. It has pockets. I got this at Goodwill in Montana and it's just so comfy, so cute, but also looks more dressy. Just a heads up, my jewelry in this video is not thrifted. These are from Majuri. This is from Ana Luisa, but my loafers are thrifted. They're Everlane brand loafers, but I actually picked them up at a closet sale run by Alyssa Coscarelli. And I was a huge fan of her when I originally moved to New York City in 2018. And she was hosting a closet sale that was also a charity event. And I actually picked up these amazing loafers secondhand, I think for like 15 bucks. This outfit is a personal personal favorite of mine. I am obsessed. This is everything I want to have on my body at all times. I think it's so cute. This is definitely something I would wear to the farmer's market or literally anywhere because I think it's so cute. Just the perfect amount of grandma, but also like I think pretty cool and hip. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it's so, so cute. This little like crochet vest situation. I found this when I was thrifting in Montana at a Goodwill. I think it's so cute with this little collar. You can wear it as a vest and a layering piece. You could wear it open. I've been wearing it like a little sleeveless situation. It's also a really good length. You could wear it loose. I kind of like the little front tuck so that you can see the belt. These jeans are vintage Levi's and they were a hand-me-down from my sister. Sister Aline, but they were thrifted originally and they're super comfortable. They're a little like They kind of like bunch a little bit when I'm wearing this belt, but Personally, I don't really care that much and again, I'm wearing these secondhand loafers from Everlane I've got the same Missouri hoops and little Ana Luisa necklace, but the majority of this outfit is secondhand which we love to see anyway, this is the look 
Okay, y'all, I'm sorry, but I'm obsessed with this next outfit. <laughs> I love it so much. This is just like the definition of what I want to be wearing at all times. Like this embroidery, who who is she? Like, oh my God. I found this dress in Montana. Montana thrifting is amazing. It's more affordable, it's less picked through, and like just look at this stunning little denim number. I'm very into 70s style lately, I don't know if you can tell. Also, I love a western vibe. I love a nod to western roots. My Montana girl is really popping off with these cowgirl boots. Cute Cowboy Like Me by Taylor Swift immediately, please. The one tragedy about this dress is that it's missing buttons, but I'm thinking of taking this button and maybe one of the very bottom buttons and filling this part out here and then maybe moving the other two up so that just the bottom is missing buttons. I think that might look nicer. It's missing a button here too, which I would replace alongside this one. So let me know if you have any tips as far as like missing buttons go. Um, but yeah, the buttons that it does have are cute little flowers. Like how cute is that? The boots were also a gem found in the good old state of Montana. So cute. They're a little uncomfortable, I will say, but pretty much worth it. Like. The vibes. The jewelry is fully Ana Luisa, who we love here on this channel. They are a carbon neutral company. They use recycled gold, which we are here for. So I've got this cute little pearl necklace from them and their little hoops. I believe we always have a link down below, but let me know if we don't. But yeah, look how cute. Ready for spring frolicking in Central Park. Yeah. So cute. All right, in this next look, I love a monochrome cream look. I just, I want to look like a frothy oat milk cappuccino at all times. This adorable knitted cardigan is from Goodwill in Montana. I love the little pearl buttons. I love a big trouser look. I think it's so classic. I cuffed these at the bottom, but like maybe I should hem them. Maybe I should get them tailored. I'm not sure. I don't know how to sew, so I would have to get them tailored, but I think they look cute with... I'm trying to just stand in a way that makes the outfit look okay. Um, but yeah, I think they look really cute cuffed. I think these would look really cute with those loafers that I just showed, but I'm wearing them with a neutral sneaker to show that you can uh, dress a look like this down and it still works. I also do really enjoy the monochrome. These sneakers are from Casca and they were very generously gifted to me. I believe I have a link down below for them, so definitely check them out. I think they're the perfect neutral sneaker for uh, spring and summer in the city especially. Of course, I'm wearing my Ana Luisa jewelry again. I wear their jewelry like every single day and it just goes with everything. And then my Madewell belt, again. Love Diane Keaton's style, not so much the Woody Allen apologizer energy from her, but let's just pretend I'm her character in Something's Gotta Give instead. Minus the turtleneck, but. And final outfit is this guy, very frog and toad energy, which we're here for on this channel, clearly, if you haven't been able to tell. Um, but I love this outfit. I think it's so cute. Definitely very my style. We've got a sweater vest in the mix, which we are, you know, 10 out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10 work on my part. I got super into the sweater vest trend in the fall time and I'm still very much here for it. It's just such a look. I found this beautiful sweater vest on Depop and Depop has become my new best friend in the pandemic for thrifting. I'm pretty sure it's made out of cashmere, which makes it super cozy. Also this silky vintage shirt underneath, I mean, it just reminds me of a shirt that a pirate would wear, and I'm very much into the bisexual pirate overall aesthetic. I found this shirt at a Goodwill in Brooklyn, actually, in their more like polished, curated selection, so it was a little bit more expensive. It was, I think, like $20, which is quite expensive. Maybe even $25, but 
I will say I've worn it to death these last few years. By the way, all of these thrifted pieces have been accumulated over the last few years and are just like what's in my current rotation right now, so I definitely didn't get all of them recently. They've been collected over many years and throughout the last few years, this shirt has been a wardrobe staple and I absolutely love it. I love the like gathering on the sleeves and the buttons. I think they're such nice details. And then for the pants, these are Madewell brand. I did find them on Poshmark, either Poshmark or Depop. I love them both. I tend to lean towards Depop, but yeah, they're so cute. They're a little tight around the stomach area when I sit down, like when I'm standing, they're super comfy, but when I sit down, they're a little tight, so I might sell these and try to find a bigger pair. They're a size 27 made well. Slide into my DMs if you might be interested in buying them. I'm pretty sure they still have tags on. They're like brand new. I've worn them like one time because they are tight when I sit down. And we're not here for clothes that uh make us feel less than or make us feel like our bodies are the problem. Might be selling these, but they're so cute. I love the olive tone. I think it looks really good with this outfit. A little autumnal, but I am here for earth tones all year round. We've got the Madewell belt again. We've got our beloved Casca sneakers. Had to finish it off with the Ana Luisa jewelry. That is the final look. I did five outfits and not seven because usually at least two days I'm in my pajamas or in sweatpants, but yeah, these are five thrifted outfits for you. Let me know which one was your fave. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. This was definitely something new for me. So if you did like it and you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. And let me know down below your thoughts because this is new territory. It's not a vlog, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram if you're interested in keeping up with my daily shenanigans. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos from me and my sister Aileen. Lots of fun stuff coming. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.